From foreshadowing collabs seven entire years ago to last minute changes making Fortnite OG even more accurate than we thought and even hints for future updates teasing what's to come once it ends, Fortnite OG is full of secrets and hidden details. And a couple years back, a super iconic meme was created which I'm sure many of you may remember. In the early days of chapter one, you could find a meme of Peter Griffin dropping in on the chapter one island and when the skin was added a year ago, we were close to making it reality. And lucky for us now, he's back with OG Fortnite again so a few players saw the opportunity and and now you can successfully recreate it in game. Another iconic reference in the chapter one map right now foreshadowed a collab that was released years later. Near retail row stands the infamous Truckasaurus that initially was speculated to be Optimus Prime. The actual collab was added later in chapter four, season three in Wilds. And it turns out that the retail row truck statue had always been foreshadowing it this entire time. Now with the chapter one map, you could revisit it as Optimus Prime himself, which is crazy to think how far Fortnite's come. And another good example of this is another reference. This one you may remember as theories about it were very popular in the early days. I'm of course talking about the giant footprint on top of the destroyed house by Greasy Grove. The community had crazy theories for this like it being a teaser for a leviathan mode which never ended up happening or that it was a teaser for a popular character to come to the game. And they were entirely right. Seven full years later and the OG map was returned just in time with the Godzilla skin now being the secret battle pass outfit. Once it releases, players will have to step there while wearing Godzilla to recreate it even though he's not size accurate. But speaking of accuracy, there's an item in Fortnite OG that's now been entirely nerfed. The Slurp Juice received a massive buff in Chapter 4 where it was now legendary and healed gradually up to 100 health and shield. But even before that, it was purple and healed 75 health in total. But now, since we're back to Chapter 1 Season 1, OGs will know that while they nerfed it, Epic made Slurp Juice extremely accurate, as it now only heals 25 shield and 25 health and it does so very slowly just like the OG days. Other weapons, however, have received buffs and even more accurate details, like Grenades, who have now been added back to the game with their damage being 100 yet again after it was nerfed to 40 a while back. What's even crazier about this though is that their icon is the same one they used back in the original season 1 which is something no one expected and tells us Epic really paid attention to the smallest details. One thing they sadly missed though is that you can't carry 10 grenades as you originally could so they might have forgotten. Something they didn't forget though is a small detail that made chapter 1 infinitely better and now it's all back. For years now, the weapons in Fortnite lost their color because Rarity Glow wasn't as vibrant as it used to be. But now, that is literally part of the past because the OG Weapon Glow from Chapter 1's returned. Meaning, when you get that golden scar from a chest, you'll finally be able to use it and see it in all of its glory. Not as glorious as the new set of traps which now come in blue. That's right, in case you've been confused about spike traps making a return in rare rarity, it's because that's how they actually used to be in Season 1, right before they became an uncommon item. And we came to know them, so it's honestly pretty cool epic, didn't forget this little detail. Another thing they didn't forget though was one of chapter 1's most wholesome yet hilarious additions because if you remember back in the day if you went to places like retail and lonely lodge you could come across the infamous dancing fish. When you dance right near them they would suddenly start dancing alongside you and even play their own music. Not only are they back now but they're also part of the quest for the OG mode just like they used to be. What you might have noticed though is the current weapon stats for Fortnite OG and let me say some of these are ridiculously accurate. The scar and even the regular assault rifle can hit up to 70 for a headshot because at the time Epic didn't know how powerful those headshot damage numbers were, so they brought back the true experience. And even the pump can one-shot a player at any rarity, even the gray one, and send them straight to the lobby with a headshot. The highlight of the re-added weapons is definitely the sound when you pick up an item, which is a sound that many find nostalgic about, and yes, Epic decided to bring it back. Other ambient sounds from chapter 1 have also returned around the map, and if you listen closely, you might hear it, and it makes the entire experience a lot more worthwhile when you play. There was, however, something a lot of players were disappointed about, including myself, and that's epic for getting to add a special weapon in a season like this. For those who are unaware, Season 1 was the season where we got the Zapatron weapon first introduced, and it was only in the game for one hour, as Epic deemed it way too powerful for BR. Since we're starting from Season 1, it's a huge missed opportunity that Epic didn't add it into the game, since now everyone's way more skilled and the Zapatron wouldn't be as effective against players. The players were also very unhappy last year when the map had inaccurate POIs like the Fatal Fields missing house and instead reusing a barn in its place, or Tilted Towers missing its iconic central building, or the Pirate Outpost facing different directions. These were all mistakes, but this time Epic has somehow managed to do it again. Although it's a very small lapse in change, if you visit Flush Factory, you'll notice Epic accidentally added the toilet props from the Season 9 version, which looks super futuristic and out of place. And also out of place are some of the icons and weapons. For the most part, Epic did a really great job at bringing back the old icons and models of weapons like the grenades mentioned before, but they also failed at some. Fortnite's most iconic weapon, the Scar, doesn't use its OG model nor its icon, but rather the Chapter 2 one. 
It's the same case for the legendary RPG and bolt action sniper. The regular AR on the other hand has its OG model, but its icon displays the chapter 2 version, so it begs the question why Epic was really careful with certain weapons but not so much with others. And speaking of snipers though, a not so OG change regarding them is that even though we're in chapter 1, they still have their glint. This is the little shine you see, and in an open environment like the season 1 map, they can easily be spotted from miles away, but beware as it can be very deadly and send you back to the lobby. There's still a chance for you to be saved however because Rebo Van are still a thing right now. These are one of the few quality of life changes Epic kept, and we'll get to more of those in a second, but while rebooting, you may even notice that you can move, a change that was implemented in Chapter 5, yet it's still around now, as it really improves the rebooting experience and makes it less of a chore. And another change that's less of a chore from Chapter 1 Season 1 is that of the new healing animations. That's right, because you could still move freely while using your heals, something that wasn't a part of Fortnite OG last year and is a bold move from Epic. Not only that, but while using a shield potion, bandage, or medkit, they're very visible in your hands, while OGs will remember that, that never was a thing back in the day. Instead, your character would simply use their hands with nothing appearing, which just felt like an unfinished animation, so in my opinion, this is better, but still inaccurate. And the same could be said for the new movement, which not only has different animations than in Chapter 1, but Epic's also made sprinting, sliding, and mainsling available. I don't know what you think about it, but it was something they also did last year after popular demand of the new movement staying in order for the game to feel faster and not nearly as slow as it used to be. However, something they did remove is all the new movement features that came with chapter 6, which shows they didn't want to complicate movement even more. So don't count on wall kicking or barrel rolling. Things are about to get very complex though with the return of a weapon that hasn't been seen in ages in Fortnite. The weapon I'm talking about here is of course none other than the guided missile that was first added in chapter 1 season 3. And ever since then it had been in a constant cycle of being removed and re-added because it was breaking the game and Epic didn't know how to permanently fix it. So they just removed it from everywhere, even creative. But this time around it looks like it's back to stay because Epic's already working working on it again and they're preparing it for the season 3 update in about 6 months. What everyone has been wondering though is what's going to happen to the OG mode when season X ends and it looks like we may already have an answer to that. In the new blog post for the OG mode, Epic stated that we'll be replaying the original initial seasons of chapter 1. This has led many to believe that after season X ends, this could simply imply we'll replay an accurate version of all the chapter 2 seasons. However, some thought outside the box and maybe this is a huge implication that after season X, Epic will be making new seasons for the chapter 1 map meaning we might get season 11 and onwards, which would actually be kind of insane. And what we'll also be seeing again are chapter 1 live events. Rumors are spreading that Epic sent a document to creators such as Tim the Tapman where they seemingly confirm that all the chapter 1 live events will be replayed. Also in the document they sent over, it says there is going to be the live events again. This is absolutely massive, as we'll once again be able to relive the rocket event, the cube rolling the loot lake, and the ice king snowstorm, and even the black hole in season X. Ask Ben some secrets and easter eggs in Fortnite OG, like and sub for more.